Hello. Hello. Just me. I think. Just he, oh, yeah. okay. All right. Hello, and welcome to the Holy Moly Class of Champions, presented by Arma Front Nine Back Nine. Except we're only playing nine holes, so I don't understand the... There's no back nine. Okay. Today, five jacket-winning legends of the mini golf world... Did you say legends of the mini golf world? That is correct. I, I think you meant legends of the mini golf world. That's not a thing. I don't want to disrespect him. I'm just literally reading off the paper. Okay. All right. <laughs> They'll be competing for their favorite charities to win the coveted alumni trophy. Yes, they will. And you actually forgot the most important part about this. The $500 donation provided by Honey Drop Beverages. You know what they say? No idea. When life gives you lemons, mm. drink Honey Drop Lemonade. Wow, we are all good people. Mm -hmm. The course, challenging and ready here at the beautiful Victoria Country Club. Beautiful. Thank you for that. Country Club in Riverside, California. These players will have to watch out for those large Italian stone pines. Mm, there's a lot of other large Italian things they gotta watch out for out here. <laughs> what do you mean? I, what, I, I honestly, keep going. As the competition stands, the player with the fewest number of strokes in these compelling nine holes will take home the gold. You know, how golf works. How golf works. <clears throat> Brought to you by Arma Front Nine Back Nine Formula. The only brand in golf. Let's, Let's meet, meet the, the players. players. All the way from Nevada, Noor was quite the sight on Holy Moly, a class act and a true champion. They also say he's aging backwards. Oh, apparently he'll be playing for the Mutt Scouts. Never heard of him. Hailing all the way from the Rocky Hills of Burbank, Jeff Barber, an amazing golf instructor and no stranger to the game of golf. All the way from season one of Holy Moly, Jeff will be playing for Hollywood Children's Hospital. I love kids. Mm-hmm. The crowd favorite in California's own, Mallory. What a punch shot this golfer has, and the charm to match. Made it all the way to the final four in season two, and is a professional kickboxer. She'll be playing for Boys and Girls Club of Santa Barbara. Again, I love kids. Mm -hmm. I need a tall drink of water like this guy coming right up. We're talking about the white buffalo himself, Tanner, Tanner Beard. Beard. Holds the record for the most money won playing mini golf. Seems like a... Strange flex. But okay. And the Holy Moly Season 2 Grand Champion. And he'll be playing for the American Red Cross. That's a fake charity. And of course, how could you forget Mr. Jimmy Tropicana. A gentleman of the game and a clear staple of the sharp-dressed golfer. His swing is as big as his personality. And he wrote that himself. He'll be playing for the SCGA Junior Golf Association. I love children. That's right. More of our broadcast capturing the action here is a couple of fellas who shouldn't honestly have been hired. Comedy's Griff Pippen. Yes, that's his real name. And he'll be our man on the field. Also with our crew today is rules official Mark Smalls. Mark's gonna be out there making sure that none of these people cheat. Like you, Nor. We're watching you. I see you. I'm professional commentator Aristotle Georgeson, here with golf college dropout and esteemed colleague Jake Adams. And we're Country, Country Club, Club adjacent. adjacent. Let's get down to the action. A snack? No, I'll take a honey drop lemonade. And then I told her that will be seven bucks. Oh, we're back. <laughs> My goodness. Well, uh, hello. Hi. <clears throat> Let's take it down to the sh field. I meant eight dollars. Please welcome to the tea box, hole one, the Count of Toluca Lake, Tanner Beard. Tanner Beard, a little bit of a breeze in his face right now. He's got a nine iron, I believe. Seems like a lot of club for him. A lot of, lot of club for anyone. I feel like he'd be stronger than that. I would hope. Oh, oh, oh no. Okay, that so. Is, he's just too strong. He broke his club and he's short of the bunker. Not an ideal way to start. This is why I should play Callaway. My goodness. He probably got those things at Roger Dunn. Embarrassing. Welcome to the tea box from Glendora, California, Jimmy Tropicana. He thought about what he was wearing. And then still made that choice. Do your club. All right, he's chosen to have someone toss him the club. That came out of nowhere. I don't know if they're going to be able to air him smoking a cigar. Tobacco use on air is illegal. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Jimmy Tropicana from Glendora, California. I win. I came here to win, and I win. Woo! Holy moly, was a great experience. I walked in there, I knew I was gonna win. You know why? Because only losers lose. Guys, I hope you have a good time following me along. I want you to count my drinks. It'll probably be over 15, but my score will be about nine. Why is he walking like that? Oh, is he drunk? Based on the fact that he's finished most of that martini, I'm certain it's not his first one. Oh. Going with the hosel. Hosel rocket. Short to the right. 
At least his collar matches his pants. Mm -hmm. camera out of my face. Please welcome to the tea box from Santa Barbara, Mallory Sestak. Love a good bucket hat. You know, I could really use something on my head right now to cover whatever's going on up there. I like what's going on up there. Not sure what she's hitting, but... Ooh, a solid strike. Looks like it's going dead center of the green. A safe play. Should catch a piece. Excellent. She'll have a putt for birdie. Beautiful shot. Now up to the tee box. Nor your hand gear. All right, and here is Nor. Slightly smaller hat than Mallory. Excellent shoe choice today, I'm not going to lie. Hey, Nor, where'd you get those shoes? Nor. 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 Hey, Nor, where'd you get those shoes? Bo Jackson let me borrow them just for the day. Bo Jackson let him borrow them. Usually, golfers don't respond to the club announcers. Right. Go ahead. Okay, that's good. And of course, Nor is known for his cheating. That, well. is, that is true, which is why Mark stepped in there to make sure that he is hitting a regulation club. Oh, an absolute chop session over the top. And pulled it at the same That's got to stay in That's bounce. Yeah, yeah, he is out of bounds on a 139-yard sure. par three. Why they are cheering? That was a terrible golf terrible shot. Terrible shot. I think he's trying to play it off as though it's funny. Now to the tee box, hailing from Burbank, California, Jeff Barber. Jeff Barber bringing two clubs to the tee box as though he's unsure of what to hit. Oh, okay, and there he goes tossing it down. Solid setup. He does have gum on his back right shoe. I'd love to get a close up of that. Oh, he had a nice little punch Really shot. nice. Dead center of the green. You know what? He's going to have a birdie putt. All right. Got Nor here with a 60-footer for bogey. Not really what you want on the first hole. I can confidently say I would put a million dollars on the fact that he is not going to make this, and I don't have a million dollars. Yeah. Uh, yeah. After that putt, I'd have to say a three putt is very much in the cards. Truly really disgusting content. He's about 12 feet away for his... Double bogey. I just threw up a little bit. That was because I had a Jimmy Chura. Tanner Beard. A little bit of a chip shot. Wow, solid touch. Have yourself a day, Mr. Beard. Looks like we got Mallory here with a uh, birdie putt just off the green. What is Griff doing behind her? I don't think he needs to be there. Oh, no. It's got to go a little bit. It is downhill. It is downhill. Stretch. It's moving. Stretch. It is moving. Stretch. Not bad, but also not good. Never gave it a chance. But I love that bucket hat. I threw my bucket hat out last year. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I had a bad trip on mushrooms and had to get rid of it. Gave me bad energy. Mm. Looks like we got uh, Jimmy Tropicana from the bunker here. I'm nervous he's going to shank it right at us. There's a good possibility we get hit here. Oh, nice. Nice shot, Jimmy. Good speed, but, uh, you know, he didn't really read the green. Oh, Jeff here for his birdie putt. Seems like he hit it a little too hard. Hello! Oh. What are your thoughts on the white pants? You know, I'm a big fan of white pants. I can't wear them because okay, of... Uh, Chronic diarrhea. Mallory. With style and grace. Let's see if she can knock this in. Again, Griff doing absolutely nothing. Oh, oh no, she pushed it. That is just a That's a par shame. that you do not want to miss. All right, we've got the club pro. I already forgot his name. Something about Burbank. Let's see if he's got it. Oh, and he's the first par of the day. Congrats on all your success. Just kidding. <laughs> Hi. Do you like golf? Do you like good haircuts? Well, you should come to Tropicana Golf Club and Barbershop. Because I own it, and they're paying me for it. Cheers. And we're back. Let's take a look at the scoreboard. I love numbers. Yep. 2, 112 yards. All right, the club pro out of Burbank. Is it, is it Kevin? Uh, I think it's Frank. Or Jeff. He's from Burbank. All right, let's see. Oh, it looks like he uh, pulled it and is a little bit long. Pretty good for a pro from Burbank. <laughs> I would have to agree. Jimmy Tropicana. You know, this man's got a lot of swag in his life. I mm -hmm. mean, just the way he approaches the game, smooth, methodical. Step up out of bed, turn my swag on. Oh, it is not cutting. I think he hit the tree. It seems like he's going through a swing change mentally. Oh, Mark is uh, replacing the divot there. Did Mark just eat the grass? I think Mark just ate the grass. He is vegan. We got uh, Tanner Beard up here. Let's see what he's got. Oh, that is, pretty that is good, in the man. sun, looking like tracking at the hole. Oh, oh, an ugly bounce. To the left. But I think he's still going to be putting for birdie. Next, we got Mallory. This is a good hole for the bucket hat because I am blind looking at that flag stick. No pre-shot routine, which I do respect. 
Oh, oh my God, looks like she beautiful. actually put it out there nicely. Pretty solid. Oh, just a bit long there. I think these guys need a windmill in their way to be good at golf. It seems to be. And here comes Noor, who's just doing it just to go through the motions at this point. Yeah, there is uh, no chance that he's coming back from the triple. How will he cheat on this shot? Oh, it looks like a good shot, actually. Looks like he's uh, clapping back at us with his skills. He actually might be the closest to the pin after that one. But again, out of it for the day. Out of it for the day. No chance. No chance. Hey, my name is Noor Jahangir. I am representing Las Vegas, Nevada. My plan of attack is, is to trash talk because my skill is not up to par. I went on holy moly and uh, and I just did what I did, you know? I made a couple dives, made a couple putts, and, uh, and I'm glad to say the windmill didn't get me. I ran through both blades, unlike some other people you might meet today. And I ended up with this green jacket. My name's Noor Jahangir, and I'm not here for a long time, but folks, I'm here for a good time. If you follow me, you're gonna have a good time. We might not win, but let's make some mistakes. And we're back. Looks like we got Jimmy Tropicani here from underneath the tree that he hit from 100 yards, and that is just not a good chip. You know, when you get dressed up in the morning, you hope for better results. We got Mallory up here, way over the green. A little bit too much bucket in that hat. A little too much breakfast this morning. Solid got. touch. Really good showing That's so far. really good. Better than I could have done. <laughs> Here comes the so-called professional from Burbank. Uh, Kevin or Jim? Uh, I think it's Brad. Brad. It looks like he's opting to putt from the rough. You know what they say about dudes who putt from the rough? What do they say about dudes that putt from the rough, Jake? Uh, they love butt stuff. Hmm. Haven't heard that. Hmm. I putt from the rough, Jake. Well? Let's see what he's got. Solid touch. It does have to go a little bit. Didn't hit it. Very confident words coming from the pro out of Burbank. I think that's mostly this white pants talking. My name is Jeff Barber. I'm from Burbank, California. Plan of attack would be to make a few putts and watch my competitors get nervous. I got to beat Molly and uh, John Leepak. My uh, putter snapped while I was going over the zip line and I fell into the water at uh, 5 o'clock in the morning and I'm freezing to death. <sighs> Feels good. Good luck to all my competitors out there. You know, I come from a long line of golfers that uh, likes to win. I wish you all the best. All right, and here's Nor for his birdie. Let's see if he can find a pants loosener. Yeah, you know, those things are really squeezing his thighs. It's like a sausage casing. Uh, a little oh, too much, a little oh, too much. Solid speed if you like being eight feet past the hole. I certainly don't like that, Jake. I don't know why you would. Here we got Tanner Beard. An absolute stud, but you can tell that he really wants it almost a little bit too much. Also, I noticed he's wearing two different color browns. Very nerve wracking putt here. Ooh, it hopped off real quick and I don't think he hit it hard enough. Oh, he's gonna oh, go ahead and tap out for par. Very edgy. He came in hot. Let's see if he's gonna leave this hole hot. Oh, slid it in on the side. That's what she said. Yes. Next, we got Jimmy Tropicana after a, just an abysmal chip. Abysmal. Abysmal. Pepto abysmal. Works for nausea, heartburn, indigestion. And making bogeys. <laughs> wow, we're having fun now. I don't anticipate him making this par. And sure enough, he didn't hit it hard enough. You know, when I took this gig, I had the understanding that people were good at golf. And there's no such thing as a legend of putt-putt. Mallory with a nine-footer. Interesting putter choice there. Weirdly shaped. It's like bigger than a mallet. But not bigger than... A Back to you. Oh, oh that is just, just a real... It. And then Tanner chirping from the background said, good putt, Mallory. I thought good putts go in. Are they making her putt it? They're wow. making her putt it. Oh, that is all day. That's how you do it, Mallory. I show them. gentlemen out here. You show them. Nor quite nervous about his uh, par attempt here after hitting it eight feet by the hole. And of course, we knew he was going to miss it, and he did. To be honest, pretty good putt for him. Oh, he, he, th he just threatened violence at me on camera. Let's see if uh, Jimmy Tropicana... Is he bent over enough? He the answer wasn't. is no. He was not bent over enough to make that putt. Nice four, Jimmy! That's a five, yes, Nor. Okay, here comes um, Rick. Car Carlos? He's from Burbank, and he's about to make a par. I don't think he's going to make it, but he said he was. Oh, wow. well, there you go. I would have lost money on that one. Boy, that's good. Let's take a look back in the action. I think that's the best he could have done, to be honest. Honestly, I feel like his parents could possibly be proud. Here's Craig from Burbank. Is it Craig or Chris? 
I just can't remember. Looks like he's hit a punch shot. A little bit short, but it's easy work for the pro out of Burbank. There he is, Tanner Beard, stepping up to the tee box. Oh my God. I really feel good about Tanner on this one. I think that's fake snake on his shoes. I don't think it's real. 109. Pretty good swing. Hit it really high, but I that think is he likes short. A club twirl. No, that is short. Oh. You always count on Jimmy Tropicana to boost your ego. Jimmy Tropicana teeing off here. A little bit of a crosswind coming in, and he has pulled it. But it's starting back to... a little bit. Oh, with the bounce. the bounce. Don't go oh. in. My goodness. Sometimes this is a game of luck and not skill. Here comes Bucket Hat Becky. <laughs> Thanks for laughing at that. Of course. Anything to make this better. Oh, oh she actually wow, has that strike. going right at the hole. She's actually hitting the ball much better than everybody else. This is the first hole where everyone essentially will be putting for birdie, except for Nor, who hasn't hit yet. Well, Nor is mentally out of it. Look at these commentators. He attacked me last hole, if you recall. He threatened to throw his putter at my head. You know, they say in life, don't act off emotion. It seems to be all Nor can do today. Good shot, Nor. Again, needed some more club. Wow, okay. Needed some Nor club. <laughs> hey, Nor, if you don't mind, come over here for a sec. Hey, hey, what's going on, guys? Good question. How does it feel to be mentally out of it after the second hole? I mean, look, I just answered a Craigslist ad the same way you guys did to get here, and I mean, I'm trying my best. The problem is, the guy's been playing golf since the Great Depression, and Father Time is just destroying us all right now, a.k.a. Jeffrey. Okay. Is that what his name is? Yeah, we can't figure out his name. We've been calling him Father Time. He goes by Gandalf. Well, I guess nobody likes to answer real questions out here. Yeah, we, we keep getting nothing uh, from the players. Back to you. All right, Mark, absolutely asserting dominance on this green. Sometimes you got to. Your ball's right there. You may putt. You may putt. Right here. What's his name? Uh, Greg. Hmm. Birdie putt. Making things look easy out here. Just off the green. Next we got Nor. Oh, he's moving something that he wasn't gonna hit out of his line. Oh, rules official Mark placing it back, knowing that what he just did was absolutely unnecessary. Well, rules are rules. Tell that to my ex. I have her number on speed dial. I might give her a call. I yes. hope she's happy. Didn't hit it. You gonna mark that? What's he gonna do? Nor just pick it oh, up. Oh, he just picked it up by himself. All right, he's standing next to me during Tanner Beard's birdie putt. Pretending he has a microphone. I'm kind of concerned for my life considering he threatened me with this same club. That's a good putt by Tanner. Tanner. Doesn't have a chance. Oh my oh, god! Holy moly! I honestly bet money that he wasn't gonna make that. Then that's my fault. How you doing? I'm Tanner Beard. Plan of attack is pretty simple. Hit it slow and let the putts roll. I think my favorite memory of, uh, I guess, putting this jacket on came with a lot of slipping, a lot of swimming, and a lot of dodging some windmills. But I think my fondest memory is uh, when I got out of the medic's tent and they said nothing was broken. We're trying to start a holy moly alumni tournament. So this will hopefully kick it off in the right way where everybody who's been a part of the show can come out and play. And I think if you want a jacket, you get to play for free. Happy to be here to kick it off and can't wait for the next one. All right, excuse me. I got a tournament to go win. Here we got yeah, Jimmy, Jimmy Tropicana. Absolutely bent over. You know, it seems like everyone's reading these greens well, but they just can't figure out the speed. That's good, Jimmy. Oh. Oh, that one's good. That one. Jimmy oh. with his pack Jimmy, and kick in. His, you better putt that one. His kick in is is not uh is not kicking. Here we go, Mallory with actually the best tee shot of the group. Putting Would for love birdie. to see a make hey, here. Right there. Absolutely. Come on, baby. Get. A bit of a pull. Get though. going. Ah. Good, we got uh, Greg putting for par. He like, seems unwavered. Like we could almost as, yell in his backswing and probably now. still make it. That is oh, he pulled absolute it. Absolute chop of the wow. pull section. Ah, maybe if he moved down oh. to the other side of the valley, he would have made that putt. Perhaps. So after three holes, Tanner Beard Tanner takes Beard. the lead. Did he take the lead or is it, are they That's tied? That's a two-shot swing. No, Tanner's now even par. Tanner's even par. Wow. And Jeff Chris, or maybe it's Frank, I forget his name, but he's in second at one over. Yeah, maybe it's Blair. Blair? Blair. Mm. And then everyone else is two Not really plus, a factor. Two plus. Hey, what are you doing there, Tanner? Well, I just got these new Pro Play Club Cleaning Wipes. Why don't you try one? Hey, man, would you like one there? Yeah. Hey, hey uh, uh, I happen to look at your shoe. What's going on there? You want to get some out of that? Yeah. Right here. The professional the athletic grade shoe athletic wipes? shoe I'll check that cleaners. out. That's right. And if I'll your grips ever out. get dirty, don't forget they got grip wipes too. That's why we choose Pro Play. Mm. It actually gives it a really nice shot. Shut up, Jeff. Pro Play Golf Wipes. Get your balls clean. Let's take it down to the field. Did anybody know where Griff went? Yeah, I haven't seen him in uh, in a long time. 
Hmm, he must be looking for service. Or his wife got a hold of him. <laughs> <laughs> what a b I don't like her. All right, let's take a look at uh, what Griff's up to. Yeah, we've actually been given a technology grant with some of the uh, cutting edge technology of the time. He's out there wirelessly able to transmit to us uh, what he's seeing. Let's beep him in here. Truly amazing technology. Mm -hmm. Griff, hello. Hello, Griff. Gentlemen, how are you? Griff, they, hey, we can hear you. I can hear you. We can hear him. We can hear him. Oh my gosh, gentlemen, isn't this incredible? Yeah, no, we can hear you. What, how, can you see us? Can you see us? Yeah, this is amazing. Wow, we can hear him and see him from so far away. For all I know, we could probably contact aliens with this. Unbelievable. ET home phone, can I hear any aliens? What's it like down there? Oh, it's amazing. It feels like Christmas over here, boys. You should come take a vacation. I think he did a dad joke. I'm going to hang up. Wait, I'm getting an income signal. Oh, jeez. Bye, Griff. You get out of there. Oh, nope, that's my ex wife telling me that I should quit golf. Well, back to you, boys. Thank you. So anyway, uh, who uh, do you think has the best odds today of winning? As of now, I would say uh, the, the gentleman, uh, I think Chris was his name? I thought it was Frank, or but Peter. I could be wrong. Chris or Peter? Yeah, he's from Burbank. Yeah, the pro out of Burbank is mm, looking like he's gonna. Hi, my name is Mallory Sestak, and I'm from the beautiful Santa Barbara, California. My strategy would be the female anatomy. I got these hips, it's gonna knock any boy off their game. Honestly, I'm not sure how I won my jacket. I got knocked off on every single obstacle, unlike nor I got killed by the windmill. So, I'm surprised to be standing here today, honestly. I just want everybody to have fun. Live Forever Golf. A touch of excellence. We said this without the permission. Jake Adams told us to say this, and that's a lie. We said this on our own. Through the course, brought to you by Pro Play. Hole four added the pro from Burbank, tying the lead with Jimmy and Mallory close behind. Looks like it's gonna be a barn burner. The competition heated up with Jimmy and Tanner as Nor faded into absolute obscurity. Such a dumb game. Take a minute and wave goodbye to Nor. With the wind picking up and fatigue setting in. Whoa, did you just say fatigue? I did say the word fatigue. Just take some arm up front nine, back nine, Jake. The only brand in golf. Mm -hmm. I've heard of other brands. Me too. The plot thickens with Tanner falling out of the lead and dropping Tropicana getting a birdie of his own. Nice shot and pants. <laughs> that martini's fake. Tastes like regret. Mallory with a birdie on six and seven. Wow. Wow. But uh, Carl, Jeff, was it Jeff? It's definitely not Jeff. He answered right back with a birdie of his own. Jimmy, Tanner, and Nora are just falling far too behind in the match, and now why even show them at this point? What are we still doing filming them out there, guys? Did they go home? Did they go home? Did we get lunch? Did they go home? No, they're still here. Or there. Back to us in the field, then. It would be we. Huh? Back to we in the field. Back to you. Us. Because we're here, so if we say back to us, it means here, so we got to go back to them, that's us. They. They, us, this. Back to thus. Back to thus. And we're, we're back. back. We did that nicely together. Yeah, we did. Let's take a look. It's either they're playing golf or I just fell asleep. Let's take a look back in the action. Hello, folks. This is Griff Pippen coming to you from a galaxy far, far away. And here we are on the ninth and final hole. Thank God I can go home and have a strong drink after this. And, and we're, we're back. back. Here we are with uh, Tanner Beard, one of the contestants, going to tell us what's going on on this hole for the for the ninth hole. Yeah, well, number nine, uh, we're going to ch we're going to change it up a little bit. We're actually going to hit with this uh, driver here, so uh, it'll be more of uh, a real approach to golf. If they can just hit it in the water, uh, that'd be fine, and uh, hopefully this driver will help out with that. Root for everybody's demise. Solid game plan. Wow. It all comes down to this, folks. The biggest match you never cared about. But all the marbles are on this one with Mallory versus... Oh, who cares? It doesn't matter because none of this matters anyway. This is the last hole. We will be playing this as a par four. Everybody will be teeing off from the same point. Mallory has the honors. Mallory's been through a lot today. Let's see if she's got one more good swing inside that bucket hat. Ah. 
Not bad with the wood driver. Have yourself a day, middle of the fairway. Incredible. Next, we uh, have Bramwell. I thought it was Bram. Back to you. Back to me. Is Jake. that bit ever going to get old? I, no, I don't think so, because uh, it's it's fun. Well, here he is teeing off with the wood club. Oh, oh that's no. kind of oh, a shank, well, but it might work out. If he clears the water, and it did. That's great position, man. That is really good position right there. Advantage Frank. Advantage Bill. All right, looks like we've got Tanner Beard. Oh, that is so far. Not his best with the mallet. Here we are with Jimmy Neutron. If he aimed a little bit more right, he'd be standing parallel to the hole. Oh, oh. but boy, is that going to play in the woods. I'd say overall, not impressed. Not impressed. Oh, we forgot about Nor. Nor's still got a I hit. forgot he's still here. Hey, what's up, man? And now that he's taking his sweater off, the shirt reveals cats on the sleeves. To quote my great-great-grandfather, meow. Your grandfather was a cat? He just liked them a lot. I'm starting to cheer for this guy now. Here we go, Nor. Oh, one time, kid. Oh! That is absolutely oh! ripped. Boy, am I happy to see that. He actually does not know this, but it went a little too far into the creek. Good shot, sailor. Decent. Now that's a golf shot. Mmm, golf. Not his best with the mallet. If I saw myself in pants like that, I would say, not bad. Excellent slap of this one stick. Golf. Okay, it all comes down to the last hole here. There's been quite some disaster. Honestly, there was a number discrepancy on Mallory's approach shot. It's not looking good. That being said, one putt made from the rough here could really just solve all of life's problems. Yeah. and it is not gonna get there, unfortunately. Tanner Beard here for an irrelevant par. Let's see what he got, though. I mean, really for the hometown favorite, just for him to make one putt down the stretch. It's, and It's like they don't wanna make the putts. Didn't need to take his hat off. But you know, when you got a mop like that, mm -hmm. why wouldn't you? Now, our pro from Burbank could be- Burbank. Yeah, could very well be the champion of this legend golf classic on the ninth hole to, to clinch the win. Ooh! Fires it fast. Not over yet, kid. Not over yet. If Mallory knocks it in, we tie. I've never tried to will a putt out of a hole as much as... You just did. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And here's uh, Nor putting for an irrelevant birdie. Oh, ah, oh, just my. missed that one. They're giving it to him? Ah, yeah. Wouldn't matter if he made it. Yep. I'm just going to go ahead and take it anyway. Have a good and one, Nor. And then run off before anybody can call him on it. <laughs> Classic Nor. All right. And here's... Uh, Jimmy, I'm going to need back surgery after putting. That's right. Oh, oh lift it out. Boy. That was a good joke. I'm going to steal it right now. Jimmy, drop a canna. <laughs> Didn't drop it in. All right, and here we are. Mallory to make a bogey. Solid uh, putt. All right, she put it Solid down. Solid finish. Our fan favorite would have won, but there he is. Oh, fist pump. Ben took it down, and... Uh, that concludes our coverage. Big congrats to all the competitors of the day. Yes. I'd say the real winners out here. Who? You in this jacket, bud. Thank you. I mean, come on. This is how you make it in Hollywood, baby. It's beautiful to watch these people hug it out. The sportsmanship that we just witnessed was something to behold. There you go. That's all your success, Bob. Wow. You really earned it out there. <laughs> That's all, Bob. The big it's win. Scary, the but, big win right it's here. Tough. What's up? Uh, what do you got to I say you to guys. the fans and great job. of the Thank show? Thank you so much. Thank you, Rick. Thank great you job, all for sir. being here today. Thanks, Bill. The pleasure is mine. All right. Again, my name is some... Fred, and I would like to thank Tanner Beard and Jimmy Tropicana and Country Club Adjacent for allowing us to play today. Let's go. And to be Let's the first go. champion of champions of Holy Moly. Well, guys, while you wait at home next to your screens patiently for the next year, for the next Tournament of Champions, just want to say again, congrats to everybody who played today, all the charities that were involved, and especially our boy Frank here who took it down. Congrats. Let's go, man. Congrats. Yeah. Oh, Let's Bob, go. Great, 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 great job, John. Thank you, Amazing Gray. Me too. I'm really hoping that, uh, that 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 guy we sent to the clubhouse comes back with a club sandwich. I think maybe he took our money and left. Oh, I hope not. I am starving. Life's crazy back then here. Yeah, I'm just glad I got to uh, avoid the draft. Yeah, you're lucky about that. I went, even though I have flat feet. Does this look iron to you? No, it looks like someone hung it up in the bathroom while they showered. Kinda hot for February. Goodness gracious, what a day. Back to you. Back to the, what a day. 
Back to you. Beautiful. Back to you. It, okay. Back to you. It's, I know, it's back to me. I don't know what to say. The bit, it was supposed to cut. Back to you. Back to you.